a good Rum Nitty performance. Again, it comes down to what clips bring. Um, and we're we're hoping that you know after the last time he, he battled Nitty, he learned not he learned not to play against a Rum Nitty that was that was serious. And hopefully he you know shows up and do what he's supposed to do. Um, but I saw Rum Nitty winning two one. Um, his his flips for Charlie are going to be even that much better. Uh, his flips for cl- the the word clips is going to be that much better. Um, yeah. Giving Charlie flips around in his battle is absolutely fucking preposterous. It's preposterous. Is it me or does Dutch always sound like he's eating whenever he talks? Sorry. I don't don't understand how you're doing it. I am. (laughs) I hear it now. I am having a meal. I am having a meal. All right. (laughs) Hungry ass. You know. What is that? The halal special? (laughs) Oh, wow. This ain't ain't halal. This ain't halal. Mm Mm-mm. But yeah. are you finished your statements or, or, or? um oh my statement I, is, I, know I have Rum Nitty, I have Rum Nitty thirty against Charlie Clips. Okay. Um saying that Rum Nitty is going to lose a round in this battle is probably the dumbest shit I've heard all day. And I've talked yeah, to a lot of dumb people. Dramatic as fuck, man. I do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I agree. That's dramatic. So man, Nitty won the last round in the sick. first battle. Y'all niggas make me sick. Huh? What happened? Man, Nitty lost her. Yo, Clips versus Nitty the first time is one of the most unserious. So you think, you think that Rum Nitty is the Rum Nitty that you get in today? Clips again, you think those, those Rum Nitty. And he was great equivalent? that night. Nah, you not listen. Stop just yelling in the microphone like what you say and make sense. It doesn't. All right. You think those Rum Nitties are equivalent? You think the Rum Nitty that that, that Charlie Clay back 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 then? But Rum Nitty is, is the was same type of Rum Nitty. Clips. Well, like, what are you talking about? I'm saying he's, he's amazing. Better than he was one of the back best then. years of his career. Listen. I got Rum Nitty winning the battle, but the truth is, is Rum Nitty going to come in here and just straight up kill Charlie Clips? I'm not 100% sure of that. First of all, Clips in all these battles, while a lot of them have been bad footage, has a good first round. For whatever reason, he just keeps bringing good first rounds. He stops bringing other rounds, but he brings a good first. A good Clips is hard to compete with, you know what I'm saying? So I think that he can fuck around and get the first. And I'm a little down on what Nitty's been doing recently in terms of the writing trajectory. I noticed the rounds getting shorter again. And whenever Nitty does catch a loss, I feel like it is because he ends up having a short round. He might be o- o- – whether it's overdoing things or not overdoing things, I think he underestimates the opponent. And like I said earlier with my point in the Trez battle, I think one of these one of these two is getting the good clips. And in this particular battle, he didn't just lose to Nitty on some bullshit. Yeah, that was one of his – Biggest, like if we go down to Clips' losses in his career, that was impactful. That was in the run of Hollow and Lux, and then I Nitty did him dirty in the reaction. Smokes, video. smokes I did him he, dirty. Clips has, Clips has referred to the loss a few times and how he felt like it was real. What do you say? Uh, he had a rebuttal. I think it was versus Iron about it. So I think it's a loss he thinks about a little bit. And I think while all the odds are against him, it's the stock is low, right? We're all like Clips ninety ten on Clips. All of a sudden, Clips is amazing. Not only does he get the factor of being a good battle rapper, but he's going to shock the hell out of some people. I still got Nitty 2-1. You know what I'm Perfect. saying? But I- I'm telling you, this is a battle. Hey, he's going to have a lot of duds, and then he has a random good one like the Rose battle. I think this one might be like that. I think you get a good Charlie Clips in this battle. I got Nitty 2-1 edge. I got Nitty 2-1 possible, gentlemen. The only thing that makes me slightly nervous is that I do feel like Nitty is going to wrap to whatever the time constraints are. I don't know if it's 3.30, 3, whatever. I feel like he's going to wrap to that. Clips will go well over that and freestyle. So it could be twofold. If he's saying some hot stuff, then people will edge him around. But if he end, he can also end up wrapping himself out of a round as well. But I just don't. There's no way I'm going to have Clips winning. But he could make a round debatable or get around. So I got Nitty clear. Two one or possible dirty. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go. Um, I feel like this is the battle clips is gonna show up. Like uh, Mr. Smo just said, you can't like it has to be on your mind. The battle is up on YouTube right now. I did reaction videos to it, and it was a bad joint where he kept pretending like he he's messing up, but he was messing up, but he was messing up, but he was messing up. Um, I, I think this is the one he puts all his, his effort into, but I still got Nitty winning this one uh, pretty clearly, too. 2-1. Two, two, Nitty's consistent. So if Nitty has a whole bunch of battles lined up, I'm actually okay with that. But if Clips does, it might hurt his consistency and quality, and I think it won't have too much effect on Nitty's quality. Even though he's going to go probably time limit, which is two minutes, for Clips to go over, that means he's going to be more prepared, which I saw the Clips. I don't, think that, I don't see that happening. 
And then if he, if he if he does go over, it's going to be a freestyle go over. He's going to be rebuttling extra time, or he's going to be freestyling extra time, which doesn't always equate to being better than the opposition. I got nitty two on. He's definitely me. doing a liquor scheme. It's undoubtable. Mm -hmm. It's happening. I got, I got nitty two on. Uh, Joseph, we can go real quick, and I just wanted to have one last comment before we shift to Cal and uh, pass. I got a comment before you go to Cal and pass. I actually got clips 2-1 in this battle. I just feel like he's going to – he knows that everybody is – How much you want to bet? <laughs> Will you knock it off and let me get my prediction, bro? Dang. How much you want to bet? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I think that he just sees everybody against him, and like they say, when he – when he has like a certain killers in his face that he know not gonna play with him and not gonna be up there just joking around and goofy and stuff, he likes to take it a little bit more serious. And I just think he he's gonna show last year's champion of the year or something. Mm. I, I just want to say that like I, Eclipse is not allowed to say the word people more than twice. He overdid it last time. He's not allowed to freestyle. He's not allowed to say psychological. What was the word you said? Than, people? More than once. He said he said people hella times in the second round. Because mm -hmm. you can tell he was just shifting. <laughs> he was shifting the people the between people said the people, the people. Right, right. He's not allowed to do that. And he's and and if he don't have if he don't have a flip, one thing that would be smart is if he was able to flip one of the bars that Nitty said, whether it's the bust the hype man, spliff star, or the freaking um he has to flip at least one of those incredible lines that he said in this battle. And that's typically what happens in rematches. Like you, you try to take those wounds that you took earlier and weaponize them. If you don't do a, if you don't do anything in that regard, then yeah, it's gonna be a tough night. And like I said, Nitty's much better the second time around against the opponent. Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this comment and and I'm gonna just leave it here. The the <laughs> last time that I the last time that I I was like uh, excited for a Charlie Clips battle was because I remembered. Charlie Clips calling out somebody, right? And he doesn't Who do that it? often. Calico. Remember how bad he wanted Calico? Yeah, I'm going to beat Calico. I'm going to kick Calico ass. Y'all remember that battle? I that was a nasty me? battle. I ain't going to lie. Y'all telling, telling me all of this about, y'all telling me all of this about, oh, he's got, he's got motive and, you know what I'm saying, he's got, he's got, you know, me reason to want to beat him and avenge himself. Miss me with all that. We shit. just don't want it to happen. You don't want Miss to me with all of that. Nah, 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 I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Bitch. Miss me with nah, I'm not gonna lie, Black. Like, you don't Bla Black. Black. But I'm not gonna lie. This is the same man that like <laughs> went crazy against Young Cannon and then proceeded to bring a round and a half against Ill Will. So he, Dutch is not like half wrong in that regard because motivation is kind of like a motivation is for sure a uh, a weird thing when it comes to a Brooks battle. So you know. Okay. Uh, are, we, are we done with that battle? Thank, thank that? you, Lang. I, pre I appreciate you stepping in and, and you know, me helping the brother out, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, real talk, man. Nah, that's few and far between, but that's the least. He said, thanks for the assist. Real talk. Um, I got a 2 1 either way. <laughs> of course. Uh, Calico, Calico and Pass. Yeah. Um, I like this battle, especially because Pass went on record saying that, like, I'll beat the hell out of Calico. And it's going to be in Oakland, you know what I'm saying? And. While, you know, all these guys are professionals, right? And I and I do think that, like, you know, regardless, at, at some point in time, you're going to have to be a road, road warrior in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like Calico has a style that just resonates with, regardless of what area he's in or who backyard he's in. Um, That's a fact. I don't like this battle a lot, but I do I do think Pat's going to be extremely motivated. And, like, ah, uh, this I actually think this battle is going to be very, very close, honestly. But I'm I'm a okay I'm a slightly edge cow two one okay um if I'm not mistaken uh outside of goods he's only had one battle this year um so he so he should be well rested he should have a, a great deal of material and although it doesn't necessarily pertain to pass he has a chip on his shoulder because of the goods battle and shit like that so he probably is gonna be super motivated going into his next battle. Um, but I do think Pat's going to be incredible, especially in Oakland. I think he's going to be amazing. Uh, but I'm edging Calico 2-1 in a really good style clash, in a really good battle. Um, that's, that's how I'm calling it. All right. So here's my thing with this Calico and Pass battle. I really don't know how to feel about this battle, right? Because on one, one, one end of the <clears throat> spectrum, it's like Pass raps really well. You know what I'm saying? Like, just from a pure rapping standpoint, he raps really well. 
and so does Calico. I think Calico is one of the more gifted rappers, you know what I'm saying, in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's definitely a difference between battle rap and, and just pure rapping. So I think I think Calico has a, a lot of natural, just pure rapping ability. So in that sense, this should be a very good battle, right? But my my personal disconnect with Calico is like I I be like he don't be saying a lot of shit sometimes. Like like it just be a lot of like emptiness in in what he's saying. Like and and like Philip. nothing there. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like when I listen to Pass, it's like I be hearing Pass, but I just don't connect with what, what Pass is, is is given. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this is a very weird in a battle that should be super fire to me. I don't I don't feel like this battle is gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I have Pass been in this battle because I feel like he often says more in his material than Cal does. But I'm I'm probably going like I I don't know man I I got past two one. I need to know the time limits. These brothers rap. I don't. Yeah, no, they, I'm about to say, but I don't, I don't see them. But but I will say, but they, I will say, rap. past past probably going to rap a little bit more because obviously it's a home game, so he's going to maximize rap. his time or whatever. But Cal Cal do sometimes rap to the time limit time limit a little bit less. You don't really have elongated round uh elongated round, so that is a good point. Uh, I, I can I can go next. Um, this is kind of by far the best battle of the card. It's not the best battle of both cards. Like obviously, when this dropped, the reception of it, um, you know, it goes to show because we know that the type of matchup it is. First of all, I think the best way to say besides pure rapping is both of them are really amazing battle rappers that aren't hyper focused on the punch. You know what I'm saying? Which is I don't th- I'm not one of those that think that's all battle rap, but there's definitely I feel like some people that don't appreciate the elements of good rapping, maybe even message within. Like, I think Calico is a real, like, a lot of his raps, he tries to make life applicable. You know what I'm saying? Little life lesson stuff. Got nothing to do with punching or any of that. It's just pure rapping. Um, and I think both of them excel at that. I will say, especially this being in Oakland, Pass in the Bay makes this extremely hard to call. Because, man, Pass just don't be losing in the Bay. That's just simply what it is career-wise. Any any tough losses that he's had, you know what I'm saying, that definitely hasn't been here. Um, and I'm, as for Cal... Watching back the goods battle, at first I thought I had a I had more complaints with it than I have in the watch back. I thought his second okay. aged beautifully. I think that's an effect that has for a lot of his material. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of it ages well, um, in terms of that pure rapping and the message part of it. So I, it's really a toss up to the to the highest degree. I'm gonna go Cal two one edge just off a of pure ceiling, but mm-hmm. uh, I'm I, I think there's classic potential. I'm not saying this what's gonna happen, but I'm saying it's that type of matchup where we're, we're expected humongous things from it, and it can be something special. So I just want this to be an amazing battle overall. Sound like this could be on the leaderboard, Black. I got pass 2-1. This is on leaderboard. Why, why, why do you have pass 2-1? Can you give a little bit of explanation real quick? Better rapper? Uh, I, the real thing is I need the time limit. If, if, if I can get a time limit on the rounds, I, I might change my, my pick. But as of right now, I got pass as far as more material, like Dutch said a little while ago, you get more material with uh, pass wrapping per per round. Who do you think longer rounds favors? Like, like let's say it's, it's three minutes and, and a half. Like, who, who would that? You think that favors? And if it's a shorter round time, do you think that favors Cal? Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, the boss, <coughs> the boss, the boss, Joseph. The boss. I know Tito said he's on call. You got a little slide, sir, but she probably eat some cake. No pause. No. <laughs> yeah, pause that. Pause that. Don't say no pause for me. Pause. <laughs> but nah, I got um, I got uh, calico. We doing calico and pass, right? Calico and pass. Yes. Okay. Cool. I got calico. Um, I just think that calico don't really lose clearly often at all. Um, I thought. I just don't, even though it's, it's on the west side, I, and it's, that's kind of like past home turf, it's more of a home game for past, I guess. Still talking about Calico. So, um, I got Calico. I don't know what I did to friends, but I got Calico. No, he he thumbing down. He thumbing you down bad. <laughs> nah, it's for me. Oh, okay, yeah. I got He's Calico good, with, the, with the with the with the 2-1. Um, yeah, I just don't think he's going to be able to beat him, so... 
Okay. Uh, last time I saw pads, did I miss a battle lane? Last time I saw pads, it was. It was, was Reed it in Oakland, and he was amazing. That's why it's a hard battle to call. I'm like, he was just amazing in Oakland, not too, literally, not like a couple months ago. So it's like, damn. But yeah, he was amazing. And he, I thought he was pretty good. I thought he was. I thought he was pretty good. And Lang Mine. to the point that I got a little bit sad. I thought he was good. Immaculate pass. Uh, okay. I he was great. He was Amazing, great. you know, but yeah, I don't know. I get but, you, but you know I'm nicer, so sometimes I put a little extra um yeah, to it, you, you know put, what I'm saying? Little, little, but, sauce, little sauce it up a little bit. It, it was a really good performance though. It was a really good performance. So and that was versus Reed. So yeah. are we are we comparing Reed and Calico? No. No, we're I'm just saying his individual I'm performance. Saying, I, think, I think Calico gonna fight back a lot harder than Reed was able to. I ain't gonna hold you. This Here comes Paz. I agree with that. Read the two minute guard, too. Mr. Pass, how you doing, sir? What's up with it? Jay Black. What's good? What dude, Chilling. We, we just, we going over your battle unfiltered. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I how you it. feeling? Can, can you confirm the time limits on this one? Um, on the low, I could not confirm the time limits. Stay live. Oh, <laughs> cool, I, cool. I think, I think y'all going to rap regardless. So even if y'all have obligations, I feel like y'all gonna both rap over that anyway. Like, yeah. that's what y'all y'all rap. Yeah, I think it's gonna be something like it's that. Not, I'm not worried about that. I think it's gonna be something like that. I'm not too worried about uh, it either. But Calico is a tough opposition. Talk to me, man. That's, yeah, that's the word, man. Yeah, he, he um, yeah, he, he's definitely a tough opposition. Um, he's one of my favorites. I honestly, the uh, low key, the reason I wanted to come up here was to correct one thing that I heard and respectfully correcting it, of course. But I didn't. Go ahead, I didn't sir. exactly call out Calico and say like I'll kick his ass or whatever. Nothing like that. It wasn't really like that. I was. We. I think what you might be referring to is me responding to him saying that about me. You know what I mean? Like. Oh yeah, that's a was, fact. Was, you're right. You're was, right. It was more of a retweet. My bad. You know, I was more. It was a reaction to such a thing. But there's kind of been an ongoing like little back and forth, like on a super low, like that's been going on for a little while. Like I, you know been like a couple of years ago somebody might have said some what have you but yeah he, he's definitely a dangerous opponent and I mean I'm not afraid to say it like I mean he's he's one of my favorites I think he is probably my most dangerous opponent that I ever seen for a couple reasons I'm not going to divulge what those reasons necessarily are in this space but um mm-hmm. he is, that's he, cool that's he is cool. probably the most dangerous opponent that I've seen and so if you, you know, please understand that I'm taking that very seriously. And, uh, and also I don't, and I, I don't think, I think it's fair to look at my last uh, performance with Reed. Like, yeah, it, like if, if Reed did amazing, if he did like the best performance he ever did or did something that was more phenomenal than the last Calico performance, it wouldn't really matter. Like it's not about comparing the opponents is about, it's about uh, acknowledging and highlighting my ability and skill level. So my last performance was was kind of special, yeah. And I, I didn't really like the like it was amazing, like the like, as if like that's crazy. That I would do yeah, something cause, amazing because you, know. you know, I mean, I don't know, you know, but uh, yeah, I, I just it was a little hyperbolic, but it's okay. I, I wasn't I wasn't trying to you know, with no shade, but you know, Elaine do saw stuff up. I thought she was good, but also to me, it does matter. Um, you judging your individual material, yes, I thought your individual material was good, but again, I do think that a calico fight is a different type of fight, yeah, and I think I that agree. calico is going to fight back much harder than a <laughs> we would i I agree, I definitely agree um I guess uh yeah, I mean I, I think it matters as well, but listen, the way I approach ba- I approach every single battle I ever have been in from everybody in the tournament, whether it was Cali smooth city or Bill Collector, or uh, Reed Dollars, or whomever it is, and especially Calico, I approach every single battle like this person has the capability of kicking my ass out here. So I'm coming at every single person like they're loaded Lux, no matter what it is. So it really don't matter to me. He's a wizard, though. It's This is different. This is like Harry Potter. Yeah, C-Pass, you did the wrong thing. You used Loaded Lux as a benchmark. Now, Black, you never going to shut up about this. No, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just saying he's a wizard, though. That's all I said. Cal's a wizard. That's yeah, you think he's talking about Cal. And, and, yeah, no, he is. And, honestly, like, you know, like I said, like, I I actually 
I mean, if you know my style, it, it shouldn't really be no surprise to anybody that like Cal's uh, style, his performance, his, his writing style, et cetera, is something that I really lean towards. Like that's my kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like, even though he was rapping like a, you know, a uh, kind of precarious angle against goods or whatever, you feel me? Like it, it, the material he was saying, like the way it was written, it was it was so good. Like it was it was it was elite. It was top level to me. Like that's my kind of shit. If you know how I write, you, you could kind of see why I would think that way. And so, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be crazy. And I and I'm definitely taking it very serious. I'm only gonna freestyle like one of the rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tito, let's go to Tito first. Uh, yeah, um, I like this battle a lot, and I think um, they're both, you know, what I'm saying really, really accomplished, successful, um, you know, MCs that have. I think that kind of like they get uh, people like this get grouped in the same bucket a lot, but really, I don't think Past and Calico's material really overlap at all. Like, I don't think, I don't think, I don't see when I listen to both of them, I don't really get the same. They both rap, but other than that, like I, I think that Calico, the way he writes in his subject matter and his topic matter, is uniquely Calico, and I think Passes is uniquely Pass. I think they're both, although there is a little bit of crossover, um, I think that they're both very uniquely in terms of the actual structure of their material is different, and I think the structure is actually going to aid Pass in this battle. I actually have Pass in this battle 2-1. I think somebody who can rap with Calico... Um, but have a more because Calico really loves doing these like 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 Smo was saying these like sneaky lines, these real talk lines, these like you know punching quote unquote on like instead of like fours or twos, he punches on like threes and ones. Like he likes he likes that untraditional cadence to landing or saying you know these major quotables. Um, whereas passes style. Will kind of I think will only accentuate when he does inevitably land because you know Ash really likes to rev up especially towards the end of his rounds to like really go back to back to back to back to back. So um, I really like this battle because it'll be very very close, but also it's in Oakland and that's and that's and I don't think that he's trying to lose at home. So uh, I got I got past one zero or two. Well, I got past probably I want to say two one. Um, very, very close. So I'm gonna say two one to be safe. Um, two one. Um, I got, I got passed. Mr. Dutch and then Lang. He might be. He might still be eating this a while. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah. I wanted to see if we wanted to shift into. We got, we got two other big, in my opinion, solid matchups on the card. I want to see if y'all wanted to shift into Danny and Loso really quick. Uh. These Christians are gangsters, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Loso. Um, I feel like A Ward's gonna pass in the Glock 40. <laughs> and, uh, it's gonna help. And then what? And, and then Loso wins. How crazy, Lane? Uh, I got I got Danny, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I got Danny two one. I Danny. Well, him and Bad News, if y'all haven't watched it, Danny and Bad News battled in St. Louis the same uh, same night as uh, I Do What I Want, man. Check that out. That was a very, very good last-minute battle. Oh, yeah, it was a one-rounder, but it was fine. So, it's on YouTube, too. Yep, yep. Yep, Sorry. it has already dropped on YouTube. And then even what Danny just did, I know we didn't recap it yet, but J400's card set it off. I um, I'm going to watch that. Okay, yeah, so then I'll say that. But, yep, um, Danny... Danny is Danny. Like his his rebuttals to me have gotten so much better since he was being like heavily critiqued for you know shooting them big air balls before. Like he his freestyling ability has drastically improved to me. Um, even outside of that, you couple that with him already being the board god and what he actually pins. While I think Loso is really good and Loso is is also one of my top anglers. I don't know of any new angles on Danny other than so if if it's more of, you know, you got a million kids pull out, wear a condom, unfit dad, your wife is on drugs type of thing, I'm good. But um but Loso is dope though, so I think Loso definitely can get around and possibly make the battle debatable. But I got I got Danny with the blackjack though. Yeah. Um Danny, man, because uh, I actually seen him versus Old Solo, and if I'm and I, I remember him like messing up in that battle, or whatever. Um, Danny messed up in the battle? No, 
Well, no, no, no. Solo did, but yeah. he was, but he, but I, even still, I wasn't blown away by what what Danny um, had in that battle. I thought he was you, solid. But, you, you, uh, didn't, you, like, you didn't watch the battle, King. I, I wasn't blown away. Like I don't know what it is. I, I don't think the past like the bad news performance was good. I don't know. Like I just I wasn't blown away with the. But like, I don't, I'm not trying to get into that. I think Danny is an amazing battler. He's been on the same at, like he's been his activity's been just as high as it's been every other year, probably even more, which is kind of crazy. Um, for me, I'm I'm looking at motivational level or motivation level. Um, Loso really has outside of T top, he hasn't really gotten like major major plates and like you can kind of tell that he's starving for like one of those major looks i mean look at what he did against uh in his recent battle on blackout like he was he was amazing right and even and even with the competition level like it didn't it didn't deter him from being really good in that battle right and i think he's just going to be that much more explosive against the danny myers i think the battle's going to be debatable though i do think that uh danny myers uh material is always going to be top notch regardless of who he's going against whether it's big league small league uh you know it's going to be on, on the west coast so obviously you know he's, he's going to be a lot more comfortable there um but i do think that loso is going to be way more motivated for this battle um i'm edging loso 2-1 in this battle uh, I do think that it will be close just because I feel like Danny just, you know, he punches at such a high rate and his material is is always uh, top notch. And even if it's not the best, he's always going to you're always going to leave with a quotable from Danny. And then, as the boss mentioned, uh, you know, he's he's been really he's been much better in terms of rebuttaling, freestyling and all that. Um, But I just think that this battle just means that much more to Loso in terms of like battling a top tier opponent or uh, some edge of Loso. Also on champion of the year. Yeah, I think he's right. He mentioned he mentioned that like he's he's trying to he's trying to get back on that list since he missed last year's list. So uh, that's another thing too. Question: Who's a better rebuttaler, Danny or Loso? Mm. Well, I think it's Danny, clear. Loso don't even be rebuttaling like that. Exactly. Okay. I didn't think he so. I that that he he rebutted. He rebutted in the in the in the battle that he just had. A nigga I have one trying. one rebuttal, and you gonna start asking if they a better rebuttal than a nigga? No, he all was right, having man. a few. He had a few. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. Now man. you want to talk when they was talking to you? Going right, on, man. What's going on, man. Anyway, uh, I'd like to go real quick. I, I have Loso two one clear in this battle. Clear, damn. I got Loso two one clear. I'm with Tito. I'm with Tito on that one. Any uh, so anyway, uh, I have Loso two one clear. Um, I think um, just in general. Um, Loso is a um, has some of the best structure in battle rap. I think a lot. I think very highly of Loso. Danny obviously puts in a lot of work, but I just think that a lot of the trouble that Danny get that Danny gets into that he loses battles is when he goes up against people who um, kind of can put it together better than him and kind of create that overall um, picture. And if you look historically, a lot of his losses, even the battles that are close. He loses to those kinds of people who can not only just create creative angles, but create within rounds um, a structure that is easy to digest. Loso is one of the best at doing that, and, and I do think, I do boss, think to your point, point, to your point, to boss, especially about the angle thing, Loso actually takes a lot of really creative angles as well. So I don't actually think if he does have an angle, he's going to take anything to approach. I think he's very creative. He makes it a point to take approaches that nobody really takes and does them better than most people can. So I have Loso 2-1 clear in this battle, but I'm sure Danny will have a fire rebuttal and it'll probably win him a close round, but I just don't think it'll be enough for three. Um, So I got I got Danny Myers way fucking clear in this battle. I want to stay 30 on this battle, right? Um, why is that? Uh, why is that? I'm going to tell you why, right? Um, I <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all right. I, I low key feel like Danny is due for like one of those like spectacular knockout performances. Like we haven't really had like a, a like over crazy Danny. I Myers thought Sir Flair was time. like that. That's what I was I gonna that, say too. I thought Sir Flair was it because I ain't gonna lie. I've critiqued. I, I, I felt the same way, but after the Sir Flair battle, I'm like, all right, that was a real. Like you can hang your hat on that one at the end of the year. He low key stopped like momentum, but that's over the story. He definitely yeah. stopped his momentum, but I thought that had more to do about So Flair, like just like not being the So Flair that we that we had expected. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Now he applied Danny, pressure in that battle. Hope, 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 I didn't say he did it. <laughs> I did not say he did it. Y'all, are, y'all are literally saying things that I never said. I did say Danny wasn't good. I did say he he, he did wasn't putting pressure on the kid. I just said I feel like 
the outcome of that battle had more to do with So Flair not being who we thought So Flair was. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, and and that and that's all I'm saying. I think that Loso is more competition than So Flair is going to be at this point in time, and I think that Danny is about due for blowing the fuck up on somebody for having one of those those wild ass Danny performances where he just really shows like, hey, this is why you're Danny Myers. I think that, and, and I think that could be here. So I, I kind of got Danny pretty clear on this one. And also, I'm not really big on, on, on Loso either. I, I don't. I, I, I was waiting for you to say that because uh, you I, said. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Now don't wanna, the truth Loso. comes out. <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with truth. Listen, let me let me explain something to you, sir. All right. Oh, just God, because somebody's things. not as good as the other person doesn't mean it's hate. It just means it's not as good. Yeah. So I. Um, as for the battle, it's tough. I want to say, I think it's really going to be a close battle, to be honest. Like, I think it's like, it's fun to call it uh, one way clear. Most battles I like to call clear. I, I am going to pick a Yo, hold on. LTB, just... why, you, why you thumbs in down Smoke, man? Let, let him nah. talk. Why you thumbs in down his nah, shit, bro? Thumbs in down you. Nah, that was That's weird. crazy. That, that, that was still that funny. Was it was wild. It was residual. That's Dutch crazy, eight. LTBR. It was residual. Yeah, but See? with that being said, um, lo- I, I'm not going to lie. Both of them. On paper, the years are good. I mean, Danny's playing the volume game, you know what I'm saying, which is what he does. And I think he's been – I think he's got some standouts like the Flair battle, you know what I'm saying. And then as for Loso, I think he's got some good names on paper here. Uh, T-Top, Real Deal, Jazz is a one-rounder. He going to include that in the resume, but it is a one-rounder. And it's some good battles. But I don't know results-wise. It's almost like I expected more. I thought Loso would get a few more big shots this year. Um, he was good versus T-Top. I think most people got as debatable. Uh, I personally had T-Top winning that battle, though. It just seems like in some of these bigger opportunities, he's he's good, but he's not like – I'm not necessarily moved. He's not pulling off clear wins to that nature like I've seen him do against a, a JC. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while since he had a win like that to me. Um, but as for Danny, he's he's good for some cre- incredible peaks and some really weird losses. This is a guy who can clear Tay Rock and lose the steams. It's just interesting like that. I guess that's what happens when you're outside almost every other week for just years and years on end. I'm going to go Danny to one edge. If somebody's going to win clear, I'm more confident in Danny just getting almost like a random clear win here. Um, it's not impossible for Loso too, but I'm not going to lie. Loso's been good, but I don't. there's not like a leveling up. I feel like he's, he's at this like high mid-tier, low top-tier plateau. He's right on that borderline of like, is he, isn't he? And he's not having that performance that I'm ready to, to snatch him to the next level. I feel like T-Top could have kind of been like that, and he didn't snatch that. And I feel like this could be another moment maybe to do that. Um, but uh, he's going to have to do it for me to, you know what I'm saying, crown him that. So I got Danny Myers 2-1 edge, but it could be clear. I'm Honestly, a, y'all would say I'm a hater if I said that. Y'all no, 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 it's, no. I'm just, but no, nah, your reasoning. How you say stuff, though, though. Yeah, your reasoning would be kind of off. Nah, bro. Smoke. Yeah, your reasoning would be kind of off. Smoke doesn't say oh, hateful you things. Said, you said I ain't big on Loso. You're not big on Loso. <laughs> I he like said he's not big on him this year. He said he wasn't I like that. Know. I just don't know against top tiers. I, I can I can still be a big fan of him and not think oh that he's definitely like he's top is no question. Nah, That's no hate if, right if, there. If that was the case, he would have incredible results in these matchups are a little bit better. I feel like he struggles to get clear wins in this. You know what I'm saying? So why it's hard for me to. I'm trying to clear, figure so out. I'm trying to figure thing. out how me saying I'm just not really big on Loso equates to me being a hater. It, but it's like it's like you can't like you 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 almost innately kind of like aligned you not being big on Loso with like your point and that was an issue like it wasn't necessarily you having Danny winning but that's another story um yeah, but no I can different. I I <laughs> I, under, I understand what uh, Smo is saying though because I do think that like this year right on paper as he mentioned like he has the names but if you look at the actual results right him and T Top is a good battle but I edged T Top in that battle uh, him and Real Deal even though that's more of a tribute battle I do think that it was a weird situation scenario where like real deal took the battle a little bit more serious and i had him winning that battle too and if you look at like the the wins that he was able to garner it was against young cannon on like you know a smaller league and it was against like you know what i'm saying this recent uh blackout battle which is a big card but the opponent not so much um i do think that there's a situation where he is on at this like this uh this plateau or like on the cusp of being a top tier candidate because he has some of the things that uh, like stick out like him being on cody multiple times him having round of the year in 2021 you know what i'm saying so like there's those 
uh, measurables that you see, but in terms of like that crowning, you know, achievement or that crowning win, people thought it was JC, but that still wasn't, didn't move him uh, up to there. Uh, he didn't get like, you know, the Jerry West beating DNA or Fonz beating Suge or Real Sick being disaster on SM. He hasn't had that type of moment yet. And I think that's what Small is alluding to. I don't necessarily think that him versus Danny is going to nudge him into that area, but it does build traction towards that uh, ascension that he's uh, looking for. Um, but I think this is going to be the one where, you know, I just think that with, with Danny's activity, even though it may not necessarily, he may not necessarily bring a bad performance. I do think, again, the motivational factor here, uh, Loso is going to be the best version of himself against another top tier opponent because the opportunities come few and far between for him. Loso's the better rapper. I got Loso 2-1. He's not the better rapper. <sighs> Yeah, okay. So, so Black, you were serious on Loso two one, or you were trying to get a deeper <laughs> break than me? Well, I was joking how I said it, but I, I'm actually serious on the pick. I do have Loso two one. A lot of y'all said um, some of the things I was uh, alluding to, which is like Loso wanted to be on champion here, but obviously that's not mo- that's not enough. But motivation wise, for me that is, um, and I feel like the consistency of Loso for this year has been valid. Um, Danny Myers. Um, I feel like he's good. He's taking a lot of battles. He said he's at 27 battles for the year, right? Is that mistaken? Is he exactly Jesus? Nah, he's, 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 he was already at the wow. He was he was already at the 20 mark when I interviewed him in like July ish August. So he was already at like the 20 plus mark then. Okay, no dog. He was booking bat like the nigga really has a battle rap. Cal- the nigga said. Hold on, what am I got to examine this year for real. Hold on, let, 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 let me look at the battle. No, I'm free. He, he, for real. While also doing a podcast in the process, so the, the work yeah, ethic is nah, kind of crazy. Nah, I actually salute him. I'm not even trying to knock him, but nah, nah, like, you, you battle that much. How many battles he got for the year so far? He got Over he got 20 plus for sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, if we do a homeless man award, he definitely should get that shit. See, man, you've been trying to make stuff negative, bro. Yeah, like, like that's relax. Actually, that's what I'll be talking about. Like, just relax. What you mean? Like, I'll make that negative. A homeless, homeless award, bro. Come on. Because like, you're doing too much. Outside. Does he stay outside? What's up that? Yo, but you know, homeless I'm, is I'm negative connotation to that. I'm way too fast for the earth. I get it. I'm just saying, I'm man. Good. I'm just saying. And again, I we haven't it. heard. Have we heard like say so you got 27 battles, right? Over 27 battles. Have we heard like a crazy uh Danny did bad performance? Like he really just fucked up? Or have we heard he's been consistent? And, you know, quality uh, for the most part. I'm not gonna count him and we're Klebs not counting the hustle. Terrible battle. Him and who? Klebs is awful. That was the top of the year. Awful. Yeah. It, that wasn't I, but I, his, I, his his performance wasn't bad. It was just a bad battle though. Uh, uh, bad, I meant no, like no, he no, might no, have that's that's no, no, it wasn't that was a bad battle. Like I was there, I left. It was so they both were hard. I don't think his performance was bad. It's, we just talked we just talked about clips making bad footage. So like okay, I but they were his... both not good. Well, they you don't like Danny, so let's get into that. Like I'm, I'm sorry, I'm letting the cat out the bag. Like you like, 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 like so your so your judging <laughs> metrics is a little bit off. But like Kyle, I don't think Danny was that bad in, in the in the winter call. Play, I was there. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Look, 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 yeah. low so too wide. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Leave it alone now. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I was not even better. You said I like everybody. Yeah. I don't like everybody. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't vocalize. You know. Well, that's like another story. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I haven't said. Yeah, this, I give a valid reason. Why. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Tito. No, 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 at T- at Tito. I'm sorry. I looked at your little boy and got remad. My fault. My fault. My All right, fault. there it but, is. Uh, there nah, but <laughs> there it is. Nah, but I don't think that I don't think Danny has had an atrocious a uh, performance this year. And then you know how like we talk about how like every year, very bad. You know how we talk about every year he has like like he has like a streak of like when he's like battling so close in between, and he has like that one battle where he chokes all three. I gotta do my research, but I don't think he's had that type of performance yet. If I'm not Why mistaken. Why you jinxing him? Why you trying to jinx it, man? I'm not jinxing him. I'm saying what what routinely happens. Salute to Danny, and I yeah. and I and I and I had the conversation with him, you know, in private. Like I do think that there are times where he battles a lot and he does great, but at the same time, when he battles twenty plus times a year, there's going to be one battle where he chokes once or maybe all three rounds, and he hasn't done it this year. And if, if anything, I'm accrediting him for the greatness of this year. Even if, even if you want to say like the 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 strength of schedule or like the people he's faced. Are you don't have as many big names as prior years, but 
the the mere activity is kind of crazy. And a lot of these battles are three round battles. So I have to give him kudos for that. Yo, and you got and you got also beating him though, right? For this battle, your prediction. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, man, Danny three zero. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The ladies is on this car, right? Yeah, absolutely. Can we, can we end off with this one? The ladies show them the appropriate love. Big Ben thirty. Damn. Talking about appropriate love, yikes! Damn, that's what yeah, I, I, yeah, I got, I got Vixen, I got Vixen with the most crystal, just clearest, freshly windexed type of window, just like you know, a, a nice clear thirty piece. Um, yeah, yep, yep, um, see through, man. You can, <laughs> wow. you can almost walk right through it, like it's like you don't even know it's dirt, like it's it's you know. Yeah, I, I just got Vixen, man. Two one either way. Um, real quick, I I also Here's have Vixen two one. Him. But but here's the thing, I will say, I'm not trying to like give away an angle, but with recent developments, you know, I do think Yoshi can touch on a topic and make it interesting. I'm not gonna go into what topic, but we we know uh, Vixen's recent. De- Okay, mm-hmm. exactly. So you know where I'm going with it because they say that we give away angles and shit like that. But um, they don't, you know, they don't recent... watch this either, though. So right, exactly, right. So so I'm not trying to do too much, but I do think that like with with Yoshi's, I don't want to say background, but Yoshi's persona, right, and just what we've recently discovered with Vixen, she has something to talk about. So you know, but I still have Vixen winning to one. I yeah, have. Oh, you got to touch. Oh no, no, go ahead, Small. I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna say I have I have Vixen two one clear. Um, I think it could get into thirty ish territory. Uh, okay, last time I think real. Yoshi faced an archetype like this um, was Prestavia. Prestavia, mm-hmm. and I feel like this is the tough thing is that I feel like Prestavia really beat Yoshi bad that day. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's the biggest body it. ever. Like Gunfight is without. And there, I, I know that there's there was a kind of a movement of like. Oh no! The, when you watch it on cam and this, absolutely not. And I feel like there, you know, you have instances like that that create. I'm not going to say a bit of false hope, but but do I think Yoshi's going to really change up what she does for the situation? Because like, because she got almost praised for that performance by the end of the year, and I just felt like that was a rough one. Um, and even going back and she got a lot of praise, you know what I'm saying, last year. But outside of the Coco Cakes battle. Uh, the caution battle, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, wasn't a good one. Uh, the Don Lady battle wasn't wasn't crazy. The RX battle was pretty good. I will say that I did have Yoshi winning that battle, but it's not wild consistency in the 40 battle. Granted, I think she was doing things good, and in my personal opinion, which is just my opinion, if that battle goes through and completes, I think there's a good chance, you know, she wins. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 40 chokes again, she wins. I think she was on her way to something good, but even then, she's got a piece of why that footage looks like that at the very least. So. There's mm-hmm. there's things missing here that I feel like get overlooked or we we put it oh no given the context and this and there's not enough just wins there's not enough just like yo Yoshi just went out there and fucking smoked this battle smoked this performance for me to have her beating Vixen who I've seen do it before versus the KCJs who I've seen got get a win versus DNA in my opinion she got sold some bullshit when people was reporting on her and hustle from the building calling it a body bag I thought she was great in that battle granted she lost her last few but Yoshi's not uh, Jazz. You know what I'm saying? Yoshi's not Tay Rock. Yoshi's not A Ward. And she just did good versus Chilla. So I think she's gonna battle upwards trajectory, style wise, energy wise. She's just a problem matchup wise for Yoshi. And I got Yoshi win, uh Vixen winning the battle two one, if not three out. I think Yoshi will be good though. And I will say it is a home game for Yoshi. She's from that area, so obviously comfortability, especially with how she raps, especially how like she does that she has nerves and stuff like that in her battles. I do think that like her being at home is gonna there's gonna be more confidence how she delivers her material and all that. So I think what about it's in Oakland. Cali. Cali. Here's what I here's what I stand with this battle, right? I think to Joe to 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 Smo's point, right? I think Yoshi got smoked against Prestavia, but I also think she has grown a lot in, in, you know, like her material. Like, like because what you were saying about the 40 battle, even though I think she was going to lose that battle, I thought she had phenomenal shit in there. I was like, oh, shit, we got a battle. Like, after the first round, I was like, oh, this is about to be one of the ones, right? So I think material-wise, she could stand in there and rap with Vixen, 100%. Here's the problem. I don't think she does anything else good enough 
to stand in there and rap with, with Vixen, right? I just don't, I don't think she does anything else good enough to, to, to beat Vixen. Um, though I think this is the crazy thing. If she decides to angle, she, she can, she can really like angle some shit about her and, 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 and have us looking at, at her a certain kind of way. So it's going to be an interesting battle. Like, I, I, I don't want any, I, I don't have this as just, a, a, a trash battle. I think it's going to be a, a very entertaining and good battle. I do have Vixen clearly winning this battle because I think she's going to be a little bit better, especially after the A-Ward, you know, pounding and, and fucking jazz exposing, exposing her, you know, flaws and in, in, in how she creates her material and, and, and delivers it and shit like that. She just you know be chiller, I mean? I think She He's did just be chiller. Chiller. She, she did. I, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about that. No, no, no. I'm no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm backing I'm, up what Tito said. I'm just backing up what Tito said. Yeah, yeah, I'm just. I, I'm. I'm Alabama King. I'm just saying. You know, she beat Chilla. That's good. I, good. I, I was about. I was about to get there. I was. I, I was about to land the play. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm about to land the play. You know what I mean? Um, e- even after those, you know, glitches in the system with with Vixen, she has come back, and you know what I'm saying. She, you know what I mean. She, she, she battled. Um, she had to battle with uh with 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 with, with um Jade. Um, she had the the you know what I'm saying she was good there. She had um she she had the chiller battle. You know what I'm saying she you know what I mean went and, and put the first notch on the belt for the queens against the kings. You know what I'm saying so I I think that she just does more than Yoshi can do at this point in time. Yoshi's performance isn't there. Her com- she's gonna be a little bit more comfortable, but I think once she gets to get embarked on, it, it's gonna revert back to you know what I'm saying the same old Yoshi that we normally see. And I, I got I got Vixen winning this battle, but it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, to, 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 uh, to uh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you're black. How, how you put these joints on the joint? Pause. How you put these battles on the um? Pause. Yo, relax. Uh, how you put you these did, battles on? The, you just you put press the, the share on the button. Lead? And no, 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 no. How you put these battles on the leaderboard? And they're not even going to be live. We got to wait till they drive. Like that's what and, I'm saying. What's wrong with that? I'm about it's to say, do we just wait till they drop? All right. All right. Are they doing the one female, day VOD uh, joint with this, or are they just going to drop it at a, at a time? I, don't I think no he was video. alluding no to video. Civil War. I think he was alluding to that because oh, Civil War is not live. A lot of events is like that, though. I'm talking about this whole. So, well, y'all say no, she got this great angle. What are what are we what are we? I'm not trying to. I'm just saying she has. She has. Oh, oh, you gotta no be talking about something other look. than OnlyFans, right? There's, there's no way you are. Well, there like could that. be. There could be a little bit more because 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 from what from Yoshi, what I know, she inspired it. You know what I'm saying? Like Yoshi, I, I brought I brought this energy to the game. The ladies wasn't. She's done that. We we've had these conversations before. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think it's necessarily a new angle, but it's a valid attack because because Vixen hasn't been talked to. She's got OnlyFans. Yo, she's gonna say that she stamped hoeing and battle rap. Sorry, I, what I you know, think, I, I'm, I'm with you. It's, it's, it's what it's the truth. Like that's, I think that's what he's referring to. Am I tripping? Yeah, yeah I, mean, only I mean, that was that was part of it. But I also think that, like, I, I, so so one thing that I find interesting, right? I think that you know, a lot of people when they talk about Vixen, they talk about Vixen from like when she did the two on two with Hustle, uh, like up until now. But a lot of people don't really dig into when she battled Don Lady back in the day, when she battled a couple other people back in the day and where her status was then, you know what I'm saying? Or where, how she was looked at then in that time period. Or they touch on it, but they don't really dig into that a little bit. And I feel like Yoshi's one of the few people because Yoshi's also been around for a little bit too um, that will also be able to kind of touch on that a little bit. Not to say it's, it's a, a crazy angle, but it's something new. Like when you can when you can bring a different outlook to a battler's career, it's always you know something you can you can. Digest. I've heard that numerous times towards Vixen. It took you forever to get hot. You not new. They referenced the Farrah body because Farrah did Vixen. No, she did. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, that's so people fact. people reference how long it took Vixen to finally get hot all the time. So I don't. I, that's not. But I think it's, I think it comes different because I think they both relatively got popular around the same time. Like I think Yoshi, because like when Yoshi had her performance against um against Tori Doe, that was like her breakout performance, and then obviously the same year, uh, you know, Vixen had her performance against Vixen. I think the I think it's different when it coming from somebody that was like already like. 
a prominent name back then, but for it to come because I thought KCJ was going to take that approach in the battle, and I don't think it was it was more about like who was the best of 2020 as opposed to like that approach of like what I was doing back then and what you were doing back then. I feel like Yoshi is going to touch on that from a different perspective just because they kind of rose to prominence around the same time. It's different when it's coming from like a top tier that was already prominent back then. They can call you a little person, but when you can talk about each other, it's like, you know, I, I just think it's going to be a different perspective. That's all. I think the levels of prominence are very different. So even if you want to, I mean, I see what you're saying. I just think if she takes that approach is, is, like, how does that hit? Because if it took her along, y'all level, y'all still ain't on the same level right now. So it's it's still levels to it. But yeah, no, I got I got Vixen clear. Um, Yoshi gonna fight, but to me, her her material has had an obvious dip. Like I I really liked her first round versus forty, but that 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 third round, right up until she choked, it was all boo boo. Like we not doing that. That first round was all right. I ain't gonna hold it. She was low key cooking. Oh but that third was absolute boo boo. And I think that's what caused Sweet her to choke man. in the first place. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> and then if y'all watch the I know we on you know, two on twos don't hold the same amount of weight, but um her and Don Lady versus C three and Beretta Blaze, we're not doing that. I that heard it that didn't was, go very well for it. Mm, 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 mm. So I, I just think that Vixen's presence is like outside of the, you know, me saucing it up or whatever, Vixen's presence is much, much more larger, much larger than Yoshi's. Vixen's voice inflection, Vix, Vixen's performance, Vixen's energy, Vixen's material. Like I, I can't, there's no box that I would check for Yoshi over Vixen. Like none. I agree with that. So, no, I agree I, with you. Know, you. Yeah, and Vixen is not somebody who chokes, stumbles, slips up, none of that. She always comes with three right, even in a battle, because last year was a rough year for Vixen, no cap. But even though she lost those battles, her material was always good. Her opponent just always went to the next, next level. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I just, I can't see Yoshi getting around. That's just strictly analytically, I just can't see it happening. And on top of that, I do think that Vixen just is really incredible when she goes against people. I don't want to call Yoshi one dimensional, but we know she's she's pretty much like the she's pretty much like the conventional like pin heavy type person. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like you know when for for example, like when Vixen goes against a KCJ, even though I think that battle is a little bit closer than what people say. Uh, you know, she was a little bit more dynamic. Like or when she goes against. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Other people that are like pretty much one dimensional, like she shows how like what balance she's is, right? I feel like um, you know, her her issue is when she goes against versatile people like the jazzes, like the C3s, like the, you know what I'm saying, her uh hustle and stuff like that. Um, I, I do think that like uh Vixen has a lot to play with in terms of angling and I, and one thing i noticed is that like i think small mentioned it is that she tried a lot of different stuff in the chiller battle like she tried to angle a little bit more uh, she tried to uh, go into different pockets i feel like that's gonna be another situation in the yoshi battle where she's gonna angle a little bit more she's gonna be a little bit more experimental um and it may and it may that may that could very well work to her detriment but i don't think it would just because i feel like there's other things that you mentioned like she's just a little bit more explosive she has better performance she has better um stage presence that that's going to propel her in this battle So nobody has Yoshi. Somebody got to be on the opposing side. Otherwise, we got to take it off the leaderboard. It would have been Jeremiah, but he's not here to be a contrarian. Is anybody else besides Jeremiah? 